welcome you all for the structural analysis course the course name is structural analysis and the course code is u18c503 and uh, this is the first class so week 1 lecture 1 this is cdt1 classroom discussion topic 1 the topic is static equilibrium equations and the identification of indeterminacy of the structure identification of static indeterminacy of the structure and stability of the structure identification of the structure whether it is stable or unstable structure so myself uh, S. Rajshekar, Assistant Professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, Kids Warangal. So, right. So, after completion of this uh, lecture, student will be able to identify the structure. The following uh, lecture outcomes. First one is lecture outcome one. Student will be able to identify the structure, with this, whether the structure is given, structure is stable or unstable. So after completion of this lecture, student will be able to identify the given structure is stable or unstable. And also after completion of this course, student will be able to determine the static indeterminacy of the structures. Static indeterminacy of the structures. So these are the two learning, that is a lecture outcomes. These are the two lecture outcomes. So after completion of this lecture, the student will be able to identify the type of structure it is, whether it is a stable structure or a stable structure, a determined structure or undetermined structure, and he is able to identify, able to determine the static indeterminacy of the given structure, static indeterminacy of the given structure. Right. So prior to uh, enter into the actual course of structural analysis, so we'll discuss about the basics of structural analysis, that is stability of the structure, that is whether the given structure is a stable or unstable. So, how to identify the stability of the structure? If the structure is considered to be a stable structure, if its structure is a stable structure, then it maintains its geometrical shape when it is subjected to external forces. It maintains its geometrical shape when it is subjected to external forces. Then the structure is called a stable structure. Then the structure is called stable structure. I think when it is subjected to external forces, the forces may be horizontal force or vertical forces, whatever the forces it may be. When it is subjected, the structure is subjected to external forces. If it is maintained its geometrical shape, if it is maintains its geometrical shape, then the structure is called a stable structure. If it is failed to maintain its version or geometrical shape, then it is called unstable structure. Okay. Now uh, we'll discuss about determinate structure and indeterminate structure now we'll discuss about the second thing is a determinate structure and indeterminate structure a structure a determinate structure is a structure whose unknown forces whose unknowns are calculated by using static equilibrium equations that means for complete analysis of the determinate structure only static equilibrium equations are sufficient, then that particular structure is called determinate structure. So for the analysis of the static, statically determinate structure, only the static equilibrium equations are sufficient. What are the static equilibrium equations? Static equilibrium equations, they are summation of horizontal forces equal to zero, summation of vertical forces will be equal to zero and the summation of moments will be equal to zero. So these are the three static equilibrium equations are available. So by using only these static equilibrium equations, we can, if we, that means we can, if we analyze the structure, then this particular structure is called statically determinate structure. For example, if you take a simply supported beam, a simply supported beam is an example for statically determinate structure. Statically determinate structure. But because by using these three fundamental equations, sigma fx equals zero, sigma f is equal zero, summation of moments will be equal to zero. By using these equations, we can able to analyze 
completely this simply supported beam subjected to various types of loads. So this is the statically determined structure. Here for the statically determined structures, so number of unknowns, number of unknowns will be equal to static equilibrium equation. So number of unknowns is equal to static equilibrium equation. Then in case of indeterminate structures, so here what are the unknowns? Unknowns are the external forces, that is external reactions. For ex uh, unknown force are the external reactions and internal member forces. Internal member forces and external reactions are the unknowns. The unknown forces, the unknown forces will be equal to static equilibrium equations. Then the structure is called a statically determinate structure. If the unknown forces, the unknowns, unknown forces is greater than the static number of unknown forces. Let us say number of unknown forces is greater than number of static equilibrium equations. Number of unknown forces is greater than number of static equilibrium equations, then the structure is called statically indeterminate structure. Statically indeterminate structure. Statically indeterminate structure. Okay. So mathematically, we can represent statically indeterminate structure like this. If M is the Number of members in the structure, M is the number of members in the structure, or is the number of external reactions, number of support reactions, or is the number of support reactions, where J is the number of joints in this particular structure. Then, if it is the structure is determinate, the structure is determinate, it has to follow this particular relation. 3m plus r will be equal to 3j plus. If it is indeterminate, 3m plus r should be greater than equal greater than 3j plus c. This is this is for statically indeterminate structure. For unstable structures, for unstable structures, this relation is 3m plus r should be less than 3j plus c. Okay. So m is the number of members, r is the number of external support reactions, j is the number of giants. But C is the equations of some conditions. So let us suppose if a beam or frame in between, in between a hinge is there, if it is hinge is there, then so static in it C will go to reduce by one. That means the start C, C value here it is one. C value here it is one. So in case of hinges, internal hinge, in case of internal roller or uh, internal hinge, internal pin or internal hinge, degree of indeterminacy will go into reduce one. So that in case of hinge, internal hinge or internal pin, C will be equal to one. In case of roller, in case of roller, in case of roller, internal roller, C value will be equal to C value will be equal to in case of this particular joint, particular joint, here it is also pin is there. In that particular case, C will be equal to N minus what, number of members meeting at the joint minus 1. So C will be equal to 3 minus 1, that is equal to 2. C will be equal to 2. So in case if 4 members are meeting at this joint, then the C value will be equal to number of members meeting at joint minus 1. So C will be equal to 4 minus 1. In this case, C equal to 3. Okay. So, but if it is a pin the joint, this will be applicable. If it is a roller, directly C value will be equal to 2. If it is a roller, C will be equal to 2. The condition for the statical determinacy of the structure, the structure is determinate, then it has to follow 3m plus r is equal to 3j plus c. 3m plus r should be equal to 3j plus c. If it is indeterminate, 3m plus r should be greater than 3j plus c. If it is unstable, if it is unstable, it has to follow this equation 3m plus. If the equation satisfies, this equation satisfies for the structure, for the given structure, then it is called, then the structure is called unstable structure. 
step two. Okay, so this is the one of the formulation for the stability and determinacy of the beams and the frames. This is applicable for beams and the frames. Alternative formulation is also there. So this is the alternative formulation. You can go through it. Okay. So now we will see one problem related to this uh, beams. Let's take one problem. Is, the question is classify the beam shown in figure one as a stable, determinate, indeterminate. If it is indeterminate, calculate the degree of indeterminacy of the structure. So this is the question. So this is a fixed beam. In this one roller support is there. So roller is acting in the upward direction. So there is some reaction will be there here. So for fixed support, we have three reactions. For this fixed support, we have three reactions. So this is a free body diagram of the structure. Okay. This is a free body diagram. This is a three reaction for the fixed support. If you draw the free body diagram of this, you uh, uh, can observe this type of free body diagram. At A and the support A, three reaction, it support B, three reaction, it support C, we have one vertical reaction. So now the total number of unknowns, total number of unknowns, unknowns, total number of unknowns, here we have seven, and we have equilibrium equation. How many equilibrium equations we have? Equilibrium equations, static equilibrium equations, we have three, that is sigma f is equal to zero, sigma f is equal to zero. Summation of moments at is equal to zero. Moment at tension will be equal to zero. So the static equilibrium equations are three. Then the static inertness of the given structure is seven minus three. That is four degree of static. Four degree of static inertness. So this is the one method you can uh, analyze like this, or you can calculate from the formula, first formula, second formula. From this formula also you can calculate. Okay, three m plus r. Unity calculate and the 3j plus c unity calculate. So in this case, this problem, c will be equal to zero. C will be equal to zero. That means 3m plus r equal to 3j plus c. C will be equal to zero. Number of joints we have three. And the reactions is seven. And the number of members is one. Number of members for the first case is two. 3m plus r. That is number of members. This is one member and this is one member. So this is two, two members and the seven reactions. So three into three into two, three into two plus number of reactions is seven plus seven. Three J plus C. So number of giants is three. Number of giants is three. Okay, three into three plus C equal to zero in this case. So six, uh, three, three is a nine. 9 is greater than 13. So 13 is greater than 9. 13 is greater than 9. That means now I want to calculate that means it is an indeterminate structure. So 3m plus r is greater than 3m plus r is greater than 3j plus c. So it is an indeterminate structure. So for the how to calculate indeterminacy of the structure, we have to detect 3m plus r, 3m plus r minus 3j plus c. So if you solve this one, you will going to get that is. 13 minus 9, we are going to get 4. That is the degree of neatness is 4 degree of neatness. So like, like that, you need to calculate the degree of neatness of the given shape. Similarly, for this problem, so simply you can solve from the basic fundamental concept, that is number of unknowns minus static equilibrium equations. Number of unknowns minus static equilibrium equations. The number of unknowns, here we have this injured support number of unknowns is two. Here we are represented the free body diagram and uh, for roller support we have one reaction. Total number of unknowns is three. Static equilibrium equations we have three. So degree of indeterminacy is zero. Degree of indeterminacy is zero. So even you can use the formula, you can use the formula for the calculation of degree of static indeterminacy. Okay. So this is another problem. So you can solve this problem. Just, uh, I'm just giving five seconds time. Just to think about it and I can try to solve this problem. First, identify number of unknowns. For figure three, number of unknowns. 
number of unknowns here we have three. The one, 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 and it is three. So total number of unknowns is six. Static equilibrium equation is three. So degree of indifference is three. For this also, number of unknowns is six. And the static in the number of unknowns is n. How many? Here we have three. Here we have three. So six. X minus static equilibrium equation we have three. three. So static in difference will be three. But here we have one internal hinge is there. For internal hinge, we need to detect static in is one. Then we will have degree of static in the DS will be equal to one. Okay, if let us suppose if it is extended like this, if it is extended like this, for this case, the static inertia will be equal to static inertia form basic formula number of unknowns, number of unknowns minus static equilibrium equation. So we have number of unknowns, we have three, nine. Here we have three, three, and here is some three. Number of unknowns is nine. Static equilibrium equation is three. The static inertia is six, but this is not the answer. So because here internal hinge is there. For the internal hinge, we have a formula number of how much we need to uh, we need to detect number of members minus one. We need to detect from the static inertia. So here number of number of joints meeting at the number of members meeting at the joint minus one. Then is the number of members meeting at the joint. Okay. In this case, n is equal to number of members meeting. One, two. Three. three members are meeting, n is equal to 3 in this case. So 6 minus 3 minus 1, that is 2, that is 3 of indebtedness is 4. Static indebtedness is 4. Okay. So I think so. These are the again trends. So these are the lecture outcomes. So these are the lecture level practice problems. You can practice your. Thank you, one another.